staked Ethereum is going to be locked up for one to two years, maybe even more. And during that time, you want to make sure you're getting the best rewards possible. So in this video, we're going to discuss how Ethereum staking rewards are determined. And more importantly, how you can get the best Ethereum staking fees in order to maximize your profits. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. Ethereum staking is live and figuring out how much we can actually earn is a bit confusing. Right now I'm on the Binance website and it says estimated APY is 5% to 20% a year. Now I'm on Kraken and it says estimated APY 5% to 17% a year. So which one is it? Is it 5%, 10%, 17%, 15%? What is it? Well, it's very easy for us to figure out what we can actually estimate that our return will be by heading over to launchpad.ethereum.org. I will leave a link in the description. This chart shows how much Ethereum is currently staked and what the estimated APR is. So right now it's sitting at 13.4%. And while Ethereum is locked up, this reward can only remain the same or go down. While Ethereum is locked up, this cannot go back up. During phase 1.5, when that's here, who knows one, two years from now, then people will start to be able to withdraw Ethereum and then this reward will go back up. But right now, whatever reward you see, you can always double check it here at launchpad.ethereum.org and see what's actually the most I can receive. So right off the bat, we know we're not gonna be getting 17% or 16%. Right now, as I make this video, 13.4% or lower. So the best way to get the most rewards is to of course run a validator node yourself. And as we know, this is a lot of work and not everyone wants to do it. With this, you're not paying a fee to anyone else. You get to keep the full profits, but you can make the case that there is a fee baked in because you need to have certain hardware, there are certain requirements needed and you need to spend time on it. So if this is something you want to do, I will leave you this link in the description. These are the checklists of what's needed. So when we're coming back to the staking rewards, we know that we can get 13.4% at least right now or lower. And what's great about the Ethereum protocol is that it's always going to be remain profitable. It's baked in. How is this so? Because over time, we're going to see that this is going to get lower and lower and lower. And eventually, this Ethereum will be able to be withdrawn. And people might say, you know what? I don't want 5%. I don't want 6%. I'm going to take my Ethereum. I'm going to bring it over to BlockFi and I'm going to order, I'm going to get 7% or maybe I'll take it to Celsius and I'll get 8%. Who knows? As more people take off their Ethereum and bring it to other places to get better rewards, then this APR on chain will continue to go back up and then people will take their money from, let's say, BlockFi or Celsius and put it back on the Ethereum chain. So it's always going to remain profitable. So now that you know how the Ethereum staking rewards are determined, Let's talk about how you can get the best fees by using a provider. Of course, going to each and every exchange or each and every protocol is very tedious and a lot of work. Luckily, there is a website that puts all the work together for us, and that's stakingrewards.com. This website has all the cryptocurrencies that you can stake and everything you need to know about them. So right here we see Ethereum. And if we click on Ethereum, it'll show us what we can actually earn with Ethereum, with the fees included. So here we're under staking pools. This is a pool where you can provide a very little amount of Ethereum, one Ethereum, two Ethereum, and you can start earning staking rewards. And you'll notice here the reward says 14.2%. So right away we know, because we're experts by now, we know that this reward, it's a little bit delayed because if we go back here to the launch pad, we can see that the maximum reward right now is 13.4%. So of course this, will change often. This will be updated probably very soon. And as we hover over here, we can see what the fees are, the commission. So this one, Cream Finance, 8% commission. Garda Wallet, 10%, Stakewise, 10%. And as I scroll down, I see most of these staking pools, 10% commission. One that's not on here yet, I'm not sure why, is the Staker Protocol by Anchor. This is the one I'm planning on using in the future, but I'm not using it yet, and I'll tell you why. But coming back to this, so there's a staking pools, there's validator as a service. This is when you give a full 32 Ethereum to someone to run a node for you. I know many people that are watching this channel 
they're here figuring out or trying to figure out a way how to stake, you know, five Ethereum or maybe 10 Ethereum. So this is not for you. And then of course, there is staking with an exchange. And as you can see, it's empty right now. The reason it's empty is because this is brand new. Ethereum staking only started last week. Probably by the time you're watching this in the future, all the information will be here and all of these exchanges will be officially staking Ethereum. But as I'm making this, there still is not enough information yet. But to give you a good example of how it will look, let's take a look at Tezos, which is a very popular cryptocurrency for staking. We can see where you can stake. We see Coinbase, Kraken, Binance, and next to it, we see the reward. And you'll notice these rewards are different because different places, different exchanges, protocols have different fees. Tezos Foundation, 0% commission. Kraken, 0% commission. Binance, 0% commission. Coinbase, 25% commission, very, very high. So we're still waiting to hear from Coinbase. We know that they will be offering Ethereum staking, but we'll have to wait and see what their fee will be. Because with these protocols, you might end up putting in your Ethereum and it might be locked up for a long time and you wanna make sure you're getting the best fee. So I'm still waiting for more information to come out. Like I said, as I'm making this video, this information is not available yet. So there's Kraken, Binance, Coinbase, very popular. There's also a cool calculator on stakingrewards.com where you can get an estimate of how much you can actually earn. So let's say we're using a staking pool and I say, I'm gonna put in five. So it shows what I'll get throughout the year and it has actual numbers. So, you know, it's not just you trying to guess, it gives you everything you need. But it's basing this off of how many Ethereum are currently staked. And as we learned before, the more people are staking Ethereum, the lower the rewards will be. So over here, of course, if we scale this up, we can see that our rewards will decrease over time. But definitely a good tool for you to use so you can get an estimate of how much you are going to earn throughout the year. And this is where it gets a little complicated. So we have these exchanges where you'll be able to stake your Ethereum. But the problem is it's going to be locked up for years. Who knows how long? So we want to make sure we're getting the best fees. But these exchanges are planning on offering services where your Ethereum is actually not locked up. The way this works is you give Ethereum to the exchange, they stake it for you, and they give you their version of a token back. So Kraken might give something like KETH, Kraken ETH. Binance will be giving BETH, Binance ETH. You can take this token and at a future date, when Ethereum is withdrawn from the chain, you can redeem your Ethereum, or you can take this Ethereum derivative, Binance ETH, Kraken ETH, and you can go ahead and you can trade it. So you're liquid, you're not actually locked up. But the bad part is that when it comes to, for example, Kraken, this service will not be available for users located or residents of the United States and Canada. And living in the United States myself, I don't know if I want to use Kraken because of course there's going to be fees and my Ethereum might be locked up for one to two years. Why would I do this when there are other options where I could get better returns and my Ethereum is not locked up? And even for those that it will be available to, they say we offer no guarantees of any kind about the continuation of this market. So Binance will be offering this as well, Binance.com. You give them Ethereum, they stake it, and they give you back in return BETH. Now you can go ahead and do whatever you want with this BETH. The problem is Binance.com is not the same as Binance US. These are two separate exchanges. I myself living in the United States and many of you listening, we can't use Binance.com either. So even though they have this feature where they're gonna give you BETH, we can't participate in it. So what I'm waiting for is for decentralized protocols to be in full form. For example, Rocket Pool is a very popular one that will be participating in Ethereum staking, so decentralized Ethereum staking where your Ethereum is liquid. The problem is they're not available yet, they're coming soon. The one I have my eye on is the Staker Protocol by Anchor. With Staker, you actually can start staking today. The problem is their token they're giving you back, the AETH token, it is not available just yet. So I'm waiting for this token to be available and to be on exchanges. Because until it is available, this is no better than staking it into a 
protocol or with an exchange that it's locked up for an unknown period of time. You see these exchanges or these protocols, they're not promising that they're going to give you back this Ethereum derivative. They're saying that we hope to, we'd like to, but they can't guarantee it. So I'm waiting for Staker to offer the AETH token, and then I'll probably consider using the Staker protocol to stake my Ethereum. But with all things high risk, high reward, if you get in early, which is high risk, there's a high reward. If you get in now, you'll get higher APR. But as time moves on and things mature and we know everything there is that we need to know, and all of these Ethereum derivative tokens are available, then the APR reward will go down. So like all things in investing, high risk, high reward when you get in early, low risk, low return when you get in late. If you're confused about this no lockup Ethereum staking, I made a video. Go ahead and check it out right now. Link right above the screen. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.